Hi, in this video, I'm going to explain what subdomains are. Uh, let's take an example and let's say that you own this domain. Example dot com. Okay, this is the domain you, you registered or you bought. That domain that you own is what's called a second level domain. And that is the first level. That dot com or dot net or dot org or whatever, that is something you cannot control. That's a given. What you can buy or what you can register is basically this second level domain. There you can pick any name you wish and you register that with that extension. Now, anything to the left of that second level domain that you own is your property. So if you own example.com, and let's say you wish to have something like uh, that, books. What you could do, if you have, if you have this domain uh, registered at somebody like GoDaddy or hosting it at somebody like GoDaddy or something like that, you can, you can create numerous subdomains to your domain name. Each subdomain uh, basically uh, can be seen as a subdivision or, a, or, a, or an organis or a self-contained unit to your website. Some websites are pretty diverse. They could, uh, you know, contain a lot of stuff. So it would make sense to uh, cut them up or divide them up in, into certain categories or subdomains. And this, 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 this subdomain, you see a subdomain like this, the, this third level domain, this is the third level domain, is, has a point or a dot between it and the second level. The same thing as this dot here is between the second level and the first level. And you can add any number of further domains down the line. You know, like, I don't know, fiction. And that would be a fourth level domain. Now, most, most, most websites go down to third level because with a fourth level, it gets ridiculously complex. And uh, and you know the the URL would be would be way too long. Uh, some good examples of subdomains would be, for instance, you could uh, use a subdomain to host a section or a subsection of your site. Uh, for instance, Yahoo does that. I'll show you. For instance, here you can see de.yahoo.com. That is the German uh, Yahoo service. And they have uh, ho are hosting this, this German service on a subdomain, de.yahoo.com. And presumably, other uh, local services of Yahoo are, are, are served in their own subdomains. I presume if I go and do ES, I would probably get the Spanish Yahoo. Yeah, there you go. A Yahoo España. And... Um, you see, so now here is a, is a, is a further subdivision of yahoo.com, basically the Spanish service in its own subdomain and so on. Another, another uh, uh, function you could use subdomains for is to redirect. For instance, uh, finance.google.com should take me to finances. And if I go there it should it it redirects you can see here the url is going to change soon see it changed to google.com slash finance so what happened is that you type in a domain and that domain doesn't actually host anything but basically takes you to a certain section uh, of that website google.com another thing you could use uh, another thing you could use um, uh, subdomains for if you if you have special services let's say you have your let's say on your example.com you have your downloads where people could download stuff so you could have all your downloads hosted in a subdomain called downloads.example.com or or your images where people can look at your images dot example dot com etc so that's that's one one thing of of, of using subdomains for another uh, function you could use subdomains for are to create so-called domain hacks i mean the most famous of them is this company 
or this website delicious basically this is the first level domain this is their second level domain and this is the third level or subdomain they did and together they, they created that word delicious another another company not so famous is for instance con Firmin. yeah this is the top level domain in is the top level domain of india they have i'm just gonna do the dots better confirm uh, firm is then the second level domain and that would be the third level domain so uh, you can see subdomains uh, have 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 numerous functions that you can use them for now one question uh, website owners often agonize about or, or think about is how do i divide my site i mean what's better let me let me get some space what is better if i have something like that books dot example dot com and let's say uh, what else images dot example dot com or is it better to do it like that example the dot com slash books and example dot com slash images what's a better approach to organize my site in subdomains or to organize my sites in subdirectories these are directories anything after a slash is a directory or, or, or an under unit of your main website whereas a subdomain is a completely separate website well, one thing is that search engines treat each subdomain as a separate site. So this is a separate site, this is a separate site, and the main site example.com is, is another separate site. Here, all of them belong to the same site, basically example.com. So basically, if, if let's say if let's say this site ranks quite high in Google this has no effect either on this guy or on this guy whereas here if here books rank high this has an effect on this whole thing this whole site so I think somebody has to you know every every website owner or, 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 or webmaster has to decide which way he likes it better a lot of people, what they do, or a lot of uh, websites, what they do, they use subdomains like Google in the in the Google example. From is that uh, they use uh, subdomains to redirect you to subdirectories because sometimes subdomains look cleaner and are easier to remember than uh, subdirectories. However, another disadvantage of subdomains is if I uh, forgot the subdomain, if I go and say, okay, instead of book, I go book dot example.com I will not get anything uh, the browser will say domain not found whereas if I do a misspelling here well I will at least land somewhere on that site I can then use a navigation or anything to find you know that 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 directory that I wish but here any misspelling here I don't even land anywhere near that site I mean I just gonna get an error message from my browser so you know you always got to weigh the advantages and disadvantages.